uh, basically why I was I inspired to take on this move. I want to tell you that uh, 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 this comes from a long way uh, along my, uh, my my journey as an individual. I started um, employment about uh, some years back, about six years back now. And I want to tell you that uh, when I joined employment, I had a lot of expectations. I had of these expectations that I would earn a very good salary. I would uh, make sure that um, I drive the car that I want. I'll, I'll, I'll do uh, uh, build that house as soon as possible. But that was not the reality on the ground. And I want to tell you that that is the first time when I woke up and thought twice that I needed something that I can start on the side. And that is the side hustle concept. So I know many of you could be working. Even if you're earning how much money that you, you, you could be currently earning, I want to tell you that the side hustle is not an option at all. We all need that side hustle at one point in time. And for you to really uh, have a side hustle, I want to tell you that it's not really something that is very hard. This is something that is very, very easy that you can actually start. And that's why this session will really be very helpful to uh, some of you that are aspiring to start. Now, back to my story, I want to tell you that once I started seeing that my income was not enough, I now creatively started to think twice of how I can grow my income. Now, one of the things that we have to know as we are doing, uh, we, are, we are starting up a side hustles to earn side incomes to those that uh, may be hearing the word side hustle or might have heard it, but you don't really understand what the word side hustle means. Side hustle basically means this kind of income that you, you create aside away from your normal salary. So uh, let me uh, imagine you work from, uh, let's say from eight to uh, six or from nine to six, whatever time you, uh, you, you, you do that. But that's something that you put on the side to start earning from it away from this could be during your evenings This could also be uh, during your weekends. This is what I regard as a side hustle now Some of you are continue to struggle into uh, what kind of side hustle can I start because uh, maybe uh, you're working and already uh, you can't really figure out what exactly can you start. Now, there are several kind of sources of uh, ideas that you can really uh, start with. And uh, this could be some just certain things that you've been doing. It could be a skill that maybe you uh, you've drawn from your workplace. Maybe uh, you could be you could be an accountant like me, for example, I'll tell you as an accountant as myself. Uh, I've gained a lot of knowledge in, in, the, in, in, the, in the workplace. So part of that is what I use as, a, as, a, a, as, as, as part of the ideas that I use to earn a side income. So you can, there are several kinds of ways that you can actually earn uh, a side income. So you could uh, maybe be a doctor and uh, you have some speciality that you've developed uh, from your job. So you can start up something that is in that line. So that is one area that you can look at your experience from work. Uh, the other area that you can also look at is the aspect of um, your passion. Some of you have greater passions. I'll tell you that myself, one of my passion is to speak, is to inspire other people. And from this, I've been called uh, by different people to come and share my message. And that has inspired them. And they've been able to, uh, uh, to pay me for what I do. So what is that passion that you really have that you can actually turn into uh, turn into money. The other source of idea that you can think about is the idea of uh, the problems in society. Now, I want to tell you that the problems in society will continue to happen here and there. Just like the way we are from, uh, we, are, we are we still within the COVID pandemic. Many people started demanding for things like sanitizers, for masks, for several kinds of, of, of things. And also we uh, food items also uh, became so much on demand. So what is that that you can create that people can actually buy? I want to tell you that people every day spend a lot of money. So the people that spend a lot of money, how much is being spent on the things you sell? Some of you are in, uh, let's say, what, WhatsApp groups. Uh, some of them, some of you maybe could be on Facebook. And times uh, you see a post... Uh, maybe it's Market Friday. What exactly are you selling? So 
there are several things that you can think about. It could be uh, things like agriculture. Some of you are really are good at agriculture. So you can actually start uh, something, could be a poultry farm in just a night, uh, in, in, in just uh, maybe some free land that you could have. It could be um, an aspect to do with, uh, let's say, uh, maybe uh, it could be a service. Maybe it's a cleaning company. It could be uh, maybe maybe you're offering secretarial services. Maybe you're starting up a secretarial bureau. Maybe you're starting up a restaurant. I think there are several kind of ideas that you can really think about. And some of these, you may not have to think about them uh, from a very kind of, uh, from really far away. Because these are within our communities. These are within our society. You know a friend who is doing ABCD. You know, uh, uh, yourself, you've been a customer onto some of uh, uh, some of these people who are doing these things as side hustle. So it's very important that you, you look around and see what exactly am I going to do to earn on, to add on my income. One of the things that you also need to know that, of course, uh, all these are really very easy to start and some of them will not even require a lot of capital because some of them may just require you to uh, basically start and uh, along the way people will start will start buying i'll give you an example that uh, you may just need to uh, uh, use part of your salary you can use part of your salary and uh, start either you're saving it or uh, you can just start with the little you have even your one month salary uh, uh, part of it once, it, once it is saved very well, can actually give you leverage for you to start something and earn. Why do you really want, need to start uh, uh, a side hustle? I'll tell you one of the things that I, I once worked for an organization uh, that um, uh, did restructuring. And this was something that was done promptly. Uh, I, I'll tell you that they didn't tell the staff that they, could, they were actually going to do restructuring. And what happened, they, they woke up one day and uh, they had to let or go of staff. Uh, staff had to lose their job. So from that time, I, I, it really opened my mind to tell, tell me that, okay, you, need, you really need, uh, you, you need to start something that you know that you, no one will actually chase you from such a, such a concept. So it's very important for you to, uh, whatever amount of money that you're earning, a side hustle is of no option. And one of the other things is also we've seen loss of jobs. This is not only happening during times of COVID. Even before COVID, we had many people losing their jobs. So you as an employee, how are you secure? What are you exactly doing? I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. I continue to use the example of my father. My father was uh, working in, in, uh, in, in one organization. And at the end of the day, he was restructured. He was restructured at the point in time when we were very young and we needed to survive and it, it was the side hustle that he had started he was a person who had passion for photography so from his photography he, he started something that would give him an amount of money he started a photo studio that was giving him some side income and from there when he lost his job this was his runway he was able to run to uh, that side hustle that side business and that side business was able to help him stand across all all the time and i want to tell you that for all that long we he actually ended up transforming this side hustle into a full-time uh earning because at the end of the day he had lost his job and he had to come and continue running his side hustle so running a side business a side hustle is not optional it is something that every, each one of us needs because we cannot survive on the salary alone and also one of the things that i've also come to realize is salaries take a lot of time to even increase today you join an organization and you're earning a given amount of money it looks really good on the side but this amount of money takes a lot of time to grow compared to how you're growing as an individual because for example some of us have families some of us uh, have aspirations we have dreams and one of the things we also we want to do is we want to make sure our kids go through a life that is better than the life that we went through and how can we really attain that this i will tell you one of the things that i've come to realize that yes uh, uh, many people tell us that resign your job and go and uh, and start a business i totally don't agree with this concept I agree with the concept that 
a person has to work at some point in time and after that they can move and start their business and now a side business or a side hustle actually gives you that ground because once you start something while well, you're still retaining your normal job at the end of the day you you're able to grow your side business well you can well you can be able because the cap the, the capital for the side business is basically your salary uh, at the end of the day also the market the people that you relate with this could be your customer this would be your uh, maybe uh, your friends that you're working with this could be uh, your hobbies that you started with this could be the people in your community that can be your customer so there are several kind of things that you can actually uh, really start and i want to say that the side business is not optional at all now as you start your side business there are key things that you really need to have in mind and those are some of the things that i want to share next with you uh, in, in this session now for you to start a side business one of the things you have to do is to start small don't start something with a lot of um, a lot of capital some of you even go an extent to take loans to start some of the side businesses and you really are disappointed the reason why you're disappointed is because you start big when you're starting a side business you have to start small if it means starting with one branch start with that one branch and continue to grow it even when it comes to employees maybe start with one employee to grow this it may not you may not even think about starting with employees you may start as you as a, an individual and run the side business as an individual yourself uh, as it continues to grow then you bring in other people and some of you continue to say you don't have time but the time you have on the weekends you, all your weekends are times that are good for you to do these businesses even evenings if even, i'll tell you that myself even during times like this i'll tell you that uh currently i'm running several things um i'm 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 uh, I'm, 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 I'm lecturing uh financial accounting with one of the institutions i also teach uh cpa uh, certified public accountants course uh that is uh, our certification uh, program for the ugandan accountants i'm also i have i run shops i have um, a, a, a kids store shop i also uh, i'm also running a stationery shop i'm also um, uh, we've started uh, i started a production unit of uh, paper bags and also uh, books i have a kind of manufacturing plant that is into uh, paper bags uh, books and we are jumping into other several kind of um, uh, products uh, that can uh, generate income but i want to also tell you that i'm doing all these kind of things with a full-time job i'm currently employed as an accountant in one of the international ngos in the country and i do all this kind of work uh from morning to five and from 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 five going upwards i'm running my side businesses and i want to tell you that they have really helped me because they have been able to support my family they have been able to help me attain other kind of assets because uh at the end of the day i don't only have to depend on the salary i want to tell you that even when the salary delays i have the confidence to continue proceeding because i have created myself in that kind of way that even if the salary is not available i need to be able to proceed because i have to, to make sure that I, I afford meals uh for my family i have to make sure that I, I i plan rightly for school fees of my children when they are ready for school i have to make sure that my my, my car has uh has fuel to make sure that I'm, I'm able to move around so that is what the side hustle can really do for you it's a really immense for you to really think about now uh with the leverage of on the internet there are certain things that you can really do on the internet and really get a lot of money as an employee one of the things that have uh, uh, uh that you can really do of course is uh, uh is to market some of these things that you're doing you have lots of friends followers that you have on facebook but how much money have you been able to get from some of them i've given an example that several times we see uh uh maybe when whatsapp groups or facebook and we see people selling online what exactly are we selling what exactly are you benefiting for the time that you spend on social media what exactly are you, can you be able to earn from social media so it's very good for you to start thinking about uh yourself and trying to 
start to start thinking about how can I increase on my revenue? How can I increase on math, my monthly income? Because it's really very, very important. And there are several kind of things that you need to, to think about. Now, some of you have the fear of starting. You feel like uh, once I start, how, how will I be able? I need a lot of capital. How will I be able to run this? My schedules are very tight. I want to tell you that it's after you've started that you come to realize that some of these things are actually possible, that some of these things are not really as hard as we see them. There are several people that are earning a lot of money. I'll tell you that uh, one time, uh, that was the lockdown of last of last year, uh, when COVID had just come, I think it was around uh, around May. I'll tell you that I organized a training online and that training paid me more than my monthly salary and the training ran for about four days and it paid me a, an income that was more than my salary and i was I, I was really surprised and i felt like i think this was this was the way to go this is where there is money and this is where uh, i need to keep focusing and i want to tell you that from that time i've never stopped every time i'm organizing a course online i'm teaching through zoom there's a lot of things that you, some of you might be asking, what can I really teach as an individual? I want to tell you that there is a lot of knowledge that you have. It could be uh, knowledge that you've gotten from your workplace. It could be knowledge that you got from school, that you can try to start and start earning from it. There are several kinds of people that are interested in that knowledge. There is a lot of opportunities that you can really tap into. Zoom is around, there's even a free version that gives you up to 40 minutes that you can organize a training and people are able to follow through. Even Facebook groups, uh, people can start uh, uh, Facebook groups and you can easily follow through the, uh, you can start a training that can be conducted through a Facebook group. I've seen several of them. People have started doing things like eBooks, writing their knowledge and putting it in an eBook and selling. So you have no option in terms of saying I cannot sell because you have a lot that you can actually do. You have several things that you can really do and earn from them. So I hope uh, this really inspires you to uh, to really start and uh, create something that you can really be proud of. Now, I have uh, certain principles that you should not uh, forget when you're starting your side business and i'll classify them in two p's so uh these are these are about five p's so one of the things that you need to uh, have in in mind when you're starting a, a side business one is purpose now why do i bring in the aspect of purpose is the uh you need to uh think about what why why are you here why where are you created now some of you are working but your jobs are not do not give you that kind of leverage to, uh, or that opportunity to do something that you're passionate about, to do something that uh, you feel you have purpose for. So you need to think about what is that that uh, uh, my purpose is? What, what is that that resonates with who I, I am here for the world? So that should give you uh, some ideas into some of the things that you can do because one of the things that we need to also understand that you are from work so uh you don't want to be overwhelmed by uh, uh uh by the by by these side businesses you also need to rest but also you need the motivation so if you're doing something that um motivates you if you're doing something that is aligned with your purpose something that brings uh, that kind of passion zeal within your mind then you uh you can easily create uh, an income out of it you can even have the energy to be able to do some something like this even after your work uh, or over the weekends when other people are maybe are in happening places because this is something that is within you so purpose is really very very important and one of the other second thing that i also want to share with you is the aspect of personal development now uh for you to grow your side business you also need to grow as an individual so that is where the aspect of side business come of of uh, of, of uh, personal development comes in so you have to uh, develop as an individual because um, at the end of the day when you develop as an individual it means that you attract value your value increases and that's why you see many people are getting a lot of money from consultancies because because they, they they have grown in their value 
uh, when you grind up in your value, for example, I'll tell you I'm a personal finance coach and continuously I teach people about how to uh, to manage their personal finances. And I've continuously developed as an individual through personal uh, uh, personal development. So every day you should be able to develop. Read a book, uh, attend seminars like this that empower you, that give you the necessary knowledge. So that is really uh, very important. So personal development, in addition to the aspect of purpose, will be very key even as you aspire to start a side business. The other aspect that you should think about is the aspect of personal branding. Now, this is specifically for those that want to earn a lot of money from Facebook. Now, I'm, I'm so much glad that I'm even speaking to people that are enthusiastic about brands. Now, the aspect of personal brand is not exceptional in the aspect of you creating a side income. Now, when I say a side income or a side hustle, it doesn't mean that you should only start one side hustle. Actually, I was um, I, I was reading one book that was saying that on a minimum, everyone should have at least seven sources of income. So you can create several sources of income uh, from, uh, from, 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 from different aspects. And as to create these several sources of income, there's an income that you can create around yourself. And that's, this is where the aspect of personal branding comes in. So what is your specialty as an individual? Some of you are working, for example, I'll tell you I'm an accountant. And because I'm an accountant, people know me that I work for organizations. So from there, I can be, even be able to attract small clients, small SMEs who want to improve uh, maybe accounts of their businesses or taxes of their businesses. And from there, I'm able to generate more money outside my job. In the same way, I'm a personal finance coach. I have, uh, I run a Facebook group uh, that is Business and Career Solutions Hub Africa. I've been able to grow this Facebook group to now over 2,000 people that follow me. And from these people uh, that follow me, that follow my content, I keep writing a lot of content about personal finance, about side businesses. And some of these people that follow me uh, uh, on some of these platforms, at the end of the day, are the same people that I'm able to repurpose my content and I'm able to create courses and I'm able to sell to them. So there's a lot of money that you can actually create from just your personal brand. So as you develop your, uh, as you, you do a lot of personal development, yours should also uh, be to to see how do I also uh, look at the aspect of personal branding. What do people know you for? We all know blessings for being a person who is enthusiastic about uh, building brands. What about you as an individual? What do the people know about you? Because once you start transforming that, and this, on, this does not only end on uh, you transforming uh, uh, your personal brand, let's say online, but also physically in the places where you are, what do people know about you? So it's really very important for you to uh, look at your personal brand. At the end of the day, even when you have a business, uh, people will trust you. One of the things that I've come to realize online, and this is uh, something that is, uh, is worldwide and uh, is, is, has really been proved that people would buy from you because they trust you and because they like you. So what is that that you're creating online that people will start to like you and will start to trust you? What is that kind of information? And one of the things that you need to think about is that even as you start your side business, you need to um, create value because people at the end of the day will pay value for value, especially for those that want to do uh, consultancy kind of work. But even if you're doing a, a business that uh, is providing a, a, another service, maybe cleaning, uh, it could be tailoring, it could be uh, maybe you're a writer, you're writing for other people, it could be... what. Whatever kind of a service that you provide, at the end of the day, the customer will only pay for value. So what kind of value are you creating? And that value, as you create it, it boosts your personal brand. So from just even your timeline, because when somebody, uh, for example, some of you who are watching here, uh, at the end of the day, you may want to run to my timeline and you want to check out who is this guy. When you check through my timeline, what does it read to you? It is very important for you as an individual, even as you aspire to create different side businesses. Because at the end of the day, people only buy because they trust you and because they like you. So your personal brand, you also have to be very intentional about it. And then, of course, the other is the personal finance. And uh, uh, personal finance is our fourth period. Remember, we started with purpose. I said 
uh, with purpose you need to have something that you think you were created for something that you think you're very passionate about that you can think about then i added on the aspect of personal uh, development where i say that you need to develop yourself as an individual and this could be in terms of the books that you're reading this could be in terms of the courses that you're attending this could be in terms of the people you're associating with very very important now i also talked about the aspect of personal branding i'm saying with aspect of personal branding is bit is 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 that that people say about you when you're not in that room so when other people check out your timeline what does it really say when some people uh, see you uh, physically are you a person who is presentable are you a person who has confidence are you a person who can be trusted by others and that is where your personal branding aspect comes in so it's very important for you to uh, think about your aspect of personal branding there's a lot of content that uh, uh, blessings shares in this Facebook group about personal branding that I encourage you, uh, some of you to uh, follow through, see how you can develop your personal branding. And then the, the other P principle that you think need to think about is aspect of personal finance. Now, personal finance is one of the topics that I'm really very passionate about. And I want to say that you must be uh, intentional about your personal finance. You have to make sure that you every day thinking about how much do you earn because guys even if you start a side business if your personal finances are not in shape and if your spending is not in shape if you you've ignored the aspect of budgeting if you ignored things to do with uh, increasing multiple sources of income things like to do with saving there is no way uh, the side business will help you because at the end of the day the side business is to boost your income but if you've not set up systems that will protect this income for you to think about things of long-term investments long-term assets because at the end of the day you're not going to be starting uh, up a side businesses every time you have a challenge you also need to develop a, a culture of saving you need to develop a culture of investments so that you create something that you can look at at the end of the day and uh, your money is growing uh, there are different things that you can invest in it could be shares it could be uh, several kind of things like let's say uh, uh, you could invest uh, uh, even in land a uh, real estate many people have really invested in this so your personal finance has to be well grounded as you start these side businesses so it's very important for you to have all uh, this kind of piece so one of the last piece that I really want to share with you, of course, is the aspect of prayer. I know some of you that are following this uh, are, are, are either Christians or your Muslims, whatever religion you are. I want to tell you that in your journey in creating a side business, you need the aspect of prayer. It's very important because there are very uh, many struggles that you face, but it's prayer that will give you the confidence to be able to continue to pursue and i want to tell you that the journey to creating a side business will not really be uh, rosy uh, some of you have done businesses know this very well that it's not rosy but at the end of the day it is worth it the effort you're going to put in is worth it because at the end of the day when you can afford to buy that nice car when you can afford to build that good house, when you can afford to take your family out or for holiday, then you realize the importance of why you needed that side business. So it is really uh, very important for you to uh, think about side business. So uh, as I continue to finish through uh, this session, I want to encourage you that whatever job you're doing, don't only focus on the job. Try to start something that you can build into an income generating project and this income generating project can even reach an extent of giving you an income, a salary that you can actually live on at the end of the day. Uh, some of you are earning little salaries, this income can actually even become a double of, of, of what you actually earning even in your normal job and I've seen very many businesses that are now full-time that started as side businesses don't resign your job because you want to uh, earn a, a lot start a side business and grow this until when you think it is at that level 
when you can switch back and go and run it as full time and also continuously understand uh, that as the side business requires a lot of your effort you will need to do a lot of marketing uh, you need to develop the confidence there are certain kind of skills that you need along the way to develop and these you have to look for them attend seminars like this uh, look out for coaches uh, like I indicated, for example, myself, I run a Facebook group. It's called uh, Bucks Africa uh, Business and Career Solutions Hub Africa. You can always uh, uh, search this in the Facebook uh, group or you can go to my timeline. You always find a link there. Uh, be part of platforms that develop you, that encourage you, that uh, boost your uh, capabilities those that uh, inspire you to uh, do a kind of certain thing. So it's really very important. So to the employees uh, that outside there, I want to tell you that it's very possible. I started very small. I started with just a shop, uh, uh, a retail shop where I was selling uh, stationery. I moved on to uh, start up a training company where I teach students. I entered into lecturing. I went ahead to start doing uh, online coaching, online businesses. And I want to tell you that it has really helped me very much to, to become who I am today. I want to tell you that for now, I don't have the struggle of saying when the, when will the salary be paid. That is not in my uh, vocabulary. I'm not at that point in time where I, I, I'm worried of the job loss. I want to tell you that, of course, I don't prefer job loss. But even if it comes, I have the confidence because I know that I can still survive. I can still have an income. So it's very important that you embrace this aspect and think about what is ex what is that exactly that I can basically do to increase my income. Because at the end of the day, it's about you. It's about your family. Uh, some of us uh, uh, have families that... Uh, we want to have the best for them. We want to go for holidays. We want them to go to the best schools. It is the side business that will help you achieve that. It's the side business that will give you the boost that you're looking out for. So it's very important that you don't forget to actually embrace this aspect. It is very possible. Many people have done it and you too can actually do it. You can start small. You can even start with a product that you can sell to your colleagues at work. Some of you are working uh, and because uh, I have a friend who is uh, running a side business, he sells to us snacks at our workplaces. So it could be as selling snacks to your colleagues at work at the workplace. It could be starting small with selling clothes. Some of you are good at fashion. Uh, so the clothes you put on, you know, you can also start buying and selling to other people. There are several things you can use the online. You can do courses like myself as a consultant. There's a certain skill that people want to learn from you that you can actually create and start earning from it. At the end of the day, it is starting small. Whatever amount of money that you're earning, however small it is, it is a boost to you. And I want to tell you that you really not regret. So it's very important that you think about this. So I felt I, I should share this message with you. I, I want to say that this is a message that I keep sharing. Uh, you can learn a lot uh, if you visit my timeline. Uh, there are lots of things that uh, you, you can learn from me. I also welcome you to my Facebook group, group Business and Career Solutions Hub Africa, where um, I run a certain kind of training like this around how to create a side business. I want to tell you that I'm really just obsessed about this aspect of side business because from personal experience, it really helped me. And I am who I am today because of the side businesses that I've read started. So I hope uh, this encourages you and I hope this uh, pushes you to think about of how to increase uh, your income. Create several more post streams of incomes. And I want to tell you that you will not regret. You'll be able to create your, uh, a good retirement for yourself. You'll be able to create a peace of mind where you don't have to worry about a job loss. And at the end of the day, you'll be able to attain your financial freedom where you can resign from your job and go and run your side businesses. And this will be something that will build you and maybe you'll be the next brand that we shall see outside there. So it is something that is not optional for anyone. And I would really want to uh, wish that many of you join me on this journey. So there's a lot to share with you today, uh, but uh, I hope you've gotten the message and I hope this helps you. And I hope uh, that uh, tonight you can reflect uh, of what side business will you start. 
uh, like I said, it will not be very easy, but continuously when you apply the different principles that I, I, I gave you, the aspect of purpose, the aspect of personal development, the aspect of personal branding, the aspect of prayer and personal mm -hmm. finance, those are very key aspects that you need to uh, have in place for you to uh, be granted very well to run your side business. And of course, starting small, uh, don't wait when uh, you have it all. Start with the little you have. Start with your compound. Start with your neighborhood. Start with your friends and create something that can earn you a different source of income. So thank you so much. And uh, I, I want to say thank you so much to all those that have followed. I hope this has really be, uh, been helpful. And I would love to uh, hear from you from the comment section about your takeaway from our today's, uh, today, today's training. And I believe that uh, this will be really very be helpful. In case you're watching this as a replay, please just also type in the comment section to just indicate that this is a replay. So thank you so much. And uh, I wish you uh, the best as you create a side business. Make sure you connect with me. Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, Samuel Ivanda is uh, my initial. So you can always find me. And I want to wish you uh, the best as you create a side businesses. In case you have challenges, always look out for uh, people like me. I will be, always be able to help you. Let's grow uh, together and let's create uh, something that we we'll really be proud about at one point in time. So thank you so much. And I want to say God bless you. And uh, thank you for being part of this. Bye-bye.